Hello, my name is Philip, and you're welcome to Chemistry Class Notes. So today we're going to be looking at, um, you know, practical, you know, chemistry wire questions for students taking, you know, chemistry wire and practicals coming up around um, 14th of next month. So this is for salt analysis. So bear in mind that the salt that was given, or the salt that will be provided to you, is going to be a one-to-one -one mixture of copper sulfate and ammonium carbonate. This is salt that will be given to you in a one-to-one -one mixture. Mixture meaning. Yeah, they're going to mix maybe two gram of this with two gram of this. It's given to you. So I've drawn up some questions to prepare you. And um, this sketch here, I'm guessing the first thing that you know they want you to do is that you have to mix, you have to dissolve your salt in solution in water you stir then you filter when you filter i've drawn up this illustration here you are likely to have um this residue will be formed which will be copper carbonate while the filtrate will be ammonium sulfate if you watch when these two compounds react is a double decomposition reaction. It's simply the anions of this one gets exchanged with the other one. That is double decomposition reaction. And when that happens, this is likely to be formed. Copper carbonate, which is light green in color. And here, the filtrate is going to be blue which is the ammonium sulfate. So your um, your analysis is going to be based on the filtrate and the residue. Remember, the residue is what is left in the filter paper, while the filtrate is what passes through the filter paper. Okay, looking at this following, looking at the test. So, the first thing I did here, the residue plus dilute HCl. And, of course, you may say, okay, add um, maybe 10 ml of dilute HCl to the residue. Remember, the residue is the copper no, carbonate. So, the observation here is that if I says, of course, colorless odorless gas evolved turns lime water milky and so the difference is the gas is co2 from co32 minus or hco3 minus it is advisable to put these two after the co2 you should put these two ions to fetch some marks so after that I said this particular solution now. Solution in one above plus sodium hydroxide in drops plus in excess. So when you add um, sodium hydroxide to this solution, you try to get a light blue precipitate. But in excess, the precipitate remains unchanged, or you can say no visible reaction. So the difference here would be copper 2 ion present then this same solution now solution in one in one the same solution plus ammonia equals ammonia in drops plus in excess when that happens 
a light blue gelatinous precipitate will be formed. Of course, the difference is still copper 2 ions. Then, plus in excess, the precipitate dissolves, forming a deep blue solution. So, the copper 2 ions has been confirmed with this um, reaction. So, you have to take this thing step by step. Alright, next off, so we are now looking at the um, filtrate. It might be told to divide the filtrate into two portions, like I did here. So, I'm saying first portion of filtrate plus sodium hydroxide, then plus heat. When you do that, then a colorless gas evolved with choking, with them um, characteristics choking smell, turns litmus paper blue and forms white dense films with conk HCl. So, I said the gas is ammonia from NH4 ions present. Um, in order to do um, the this test, whereby white dense films will be formed with conk HCl. Normally, when um, you you've hit the beaker, the um, test tube containing, you know, the stomach, the ammonium gas, you just um, dip a rod into Kong ACL and bring it to the mouth of the um, test tube, you notice why then fumes. That confirms that, yes, that gas is ammonia. So look at the second part. I'm saying second portion of filtrate plus barium chloride then plus dilute ACL. So when you do this part, a white precipitate will be formed. So the inference would be CO32 minus SO42 minus or SO32 minus present. Then when you now add dilute ACL, there will be no visible reaction. Or you can say precipitates remain or changed. Or you can also say precipitates um, is undissolved. Anyone is okay. And that you see no visible reaction or precipitates remains unchanged. The same thing. So the um, inference here would be that SO42 minus is now being confirmed. So that is the end of the um, video. Remember, this is to act as a guide for your, you know, sort analysis um, question for your particle. Those doing, you know, work, you know, chemistry particle on the fourteenth. It's just to guide you. You also have to, you know, read up on other areas. I'm not actually saying this is exactly what's going to, you know, what you see that day, but to a large extent, what you're going to see is going to revolve around something like this. So you go through this um, video and also do your own part. So if you like the, if you enjoy the video, you can leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.